Hey guys, Muscadetti here. We're doing a video about form. I'm going to articulate exactly what I'm doing when I am turning the form, getting the volume and everything. I'm gonna give you my thought process with that. I'm gonna to try to tie it in with the previous videos that I have done explaining uh, the mentality when we're thinking, trying to understand exactly what we're looking at. Uh, you know, understanding the form, correcting everything at once, no matter what stage of the drawing you're at, you're always correcting the larger shapes. We're gonna try to tie all that in together. I'm going to start, haven't started the drawing yet, I'm gonna start it, but I'm going to time lapse it forward to the point in which I will in fact do, be doing a flawless demonstration. Three, two, one, go. So as you can see, I have it worked up and essentially I'm at the stage where I have put the shadows in and I'm still trying to get the large shapes. You see, my dear peasants, uh, the more information we put in, we don't just use it to make it look pretty and polish it up. We make it, uh, we, we put that information in to help us judge the proportions and push it more towards perfection, right? So the shadow shapes I put in and I'm looking at the light shapes, the shadow shapes at the same time, but at this point, we can also start modeling. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we work this up at this point. So I have the basic shadow shapes in, and now I can start modeling some of the form. And at the same time, I'm gonna keep an eye on the overall drawing. So I like to go uh, across the form and, and with it. And what, what do I mean by that? Legs are a good example right here. So the legs are kind of going down like this, and I like to shade along the form at the same time, but to get volume, I'm cross hatching at the same time across it like this. And I might put a slight curve on it, but at the same time, I am studying what I am looking at on the figure. I'm trying to truly understand it, right? And so I put this on and then I like putting kind of just a, a broad uh, shading across here because we're not only trying to get the form and turn it. We're also trying to get, uh, well, it's pencil, so it's a compressed light impression. So the, so the values have to be keyed properly. We have the lightest light up here around the boobies, and uh, then it trickles down to the feet are a little bit lighter than, for, for example, the hands right here and for these thighs. So these areas right here, we can, uh, we can darken, we can bring the value down, right? And there's gonna be a little bit more light on the top of the thighs right around here. And so I'm gonna leave it about like that. But <clears throat> as I'm going again, when we're shading, I like to, I'm gonna be working on the value at the same time. I'm thinking about the drawing. I'm thinking about the form here in this thigh, right? Going down the legs. And we're gonna start uh, putting in sharps and softs and stuff. And it's very important at this stage as well, not to um, over model, not to overdo it, right? We have to, uh, and, and one way to not Overmodel or overdraw something is to be looking at this entire shape as we put these these pieces in. So I am going at this point with the form, and then what I'm going to do. Actually, let me continue going with the form here. I, there's this nice little shadow as you can see that kind of comes across here. I might give it a little bit of an edge, but then it kind of comes out here. It's going to be a little bit softer, and then I'm going to come across it like this. So it's a cross hatching technique, and even with this technique, what you can do is you can put like a little curve on it sometimes, right? You can kind of curve it going around, especially it works quite nicely in the legs and the arms. I'm gonna about to show you up here uh, exactly what I'm talking about, but how it turns here, I'm just gonna put a, a couple marks and then we're just going to even this out a little bit, bring the light down some, right? And uh, if you're looking at my eyes, I am squinting down like this and that helps uh, simplify everything. And also helps, I'm also looking at my own drawing while I'm doing this, not just the reference that I'm going off of. And in this manner, I can more accurately see the overall impression. It, it makes, it prevents me from getting uh, hung up on all the tiny details and all that stuff that we're not supposed to really be looking at um, until I guess the very end. You look, you can open your eyes and look and try to understand all that stuff as you go. Um, you know, it's, it's good to be able to squint down to simplify everything, but then open your eyes up to kind of say, okay, well, 
I'm understanding what I'm looking at, right? You don't just want to blindly simplify and not know what you're looking at. So you will have to open your eyes up some, but draw with them, squint it, and you're going to find that your work's going to improve significantly, especially in the style of, of drawing. So with the ankles down here, if you have uh, the areas where there's like bone or um, even like cartilage that's kind of hitting the skin, oftentimes it's going to be a little bit sharper. So I put a little bit of a sharpness right there. And then here, I'm just going to have it fade up just a little bit because when I'm squinting here, actually the background in the photograph makes it look very sharp. I can do that too, but it's nice to have variations of sharp and soft lines. And then normally across here, you have this ankle here. Normally this ankle kind of the opposite drops down a little bit more. Uh, than this side, as you can tell here, one, two. And even at this stage, I am uh, trying to think of the large shape and, and see if I need to correct anything, which, you know, I, I really don't because I never really make mistakes. Ever, ever. All right, so we're, as you can tell, I am working all around here. And, uh, and that prevents me from getting too piecemeal, just seeing one piece at the same time. I'm thinking about angles. I'm still thinking about the large shapes. And I'm also thinking about the form. And one thing to note, too, the entire time I've been drawing, it only took me a couple seconds to draw the drawing. It was real time. That wasn't a time lapse. Uh, I was thinking about the form. I was thinking about the anatomy, the, the, even though I wasn't putting it in at the time. And that's what we want to be doing. We want to be studying the entire time. We don't, we never want to just be blindly copying. Now, does that happen from time to time? Sure, it does. But our goal should always be in the back of our minds to, uh, you know, prevent ourselves from becoming piecemeal and uh, just blindly copying. And there is a very good reason for that. And I've gone over it in countless videos, countless videos. And the reason is, is because what you draw uh, signifies, it represents what you understand. And if you don't understand something, it's going to show all over the work. So essentially, a, a drawing is an artist's understanding of what they're looking at. So we need to strive to understand what we're looking at. In this case, that's form and anatomy, right? And uh, comes into play. Values, uh, right? The proportions is the form. The values represent the form. The flow of light, right? A solid sense of light. That's what we need. Perfect intonation in that explanation, bitches. All right, so I am thinking about the form of the ankle right here, how the foot goes back. And I'm also looking at this entire shape because if I don't, I might make this too dark. And like I said, I am compressing the values just a little bit in this drawing because uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? It means in reality, you have a whole spectrum of lights and darks, right? Another perfect intonation. And in painting, you have, it's compressed in painting. And I said painting, yes. And in drawing, especially pencil drawing, it's compressed even more, right? So in other words, you can't get as dark in this pencil, this is a 2B pencil, as you can say in like a solid black shadow in reality. You can't get as light as you can by looking at the sun, right? It's all illusion. So we have to compress the value range here for, for it to make some sense. The form right here is going to be lost, or rather the, uh, the edge. And that's one of the things that we painters can do. We artists, we uh, spectacular, um, specimens of humanity we can we can represent in a sense um, uh, atmosphere in our work so we're going to have some of the edges lost which is going to be quite nice and if i make something too dark or it's not fading properly then i can take my gummy eraser and i'm going to try to replicate uh, the uh, strokes of a pencil in this case the 2b and then I'm just going to continue on, continue on trucking. So we're going across the form right here, across the form. And then it's coming up in the knee. And I am studying the knee. I'm not just saying, okay, I, I put the lines down. I'm filling in like a coloring book what I'm doing. I'm actually trying to understand it, I'm trying to understand what I'm looking at right here, which obviously I do, not having any problems at all. 
I'm not concerned that my dad is messing with uh, pencils and perhaps quite possibly eating charcoal. I am not at all concerned about that. Go. Okay, so now I'm, this is a nice effect. It's fun to, from the kneecap, kind of bring it down like this. And as we can tell here, we have, uh, you know, going down from the patella. <laughs> Peasants, the uh, mind of an artist. Mastermind genius, mastermind painter. All right, so we're just flowing with the form right here. I'm squinting down as I'm doing it, slowly wisping it on. And this takes practice, it takes skill, it takes a modicum of, of uh, brain power, lots of patience, all right? And this, my friends, is essentially how I am going about, at, at least in this case, shading the legs and modeling the form. All right, I'm thinking about the form here. And so as we can tell here, we're kind of losing some of the drawing. So I'm going to, instead of just blindly outlining, I'm going to look, I'm gonna squint down and say, this is gonna be slightly uh, darker. And also I lost this line edge right here. It looks like I made it come, kind of come up. So again, we're kind of correcting the anatomy at the same time, the large shapes. And then I want to try to very lightly go across the form here to darken this, to differentiate this calf from this other one right here, but very softly, it doesn't need to be that much. Okay, there we go. And so then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna darken this here all in itself. And we're losing the, the, the uh, line edge just a little bit, which is normal. We can come and hatch it out uh, cut it back out with an eraser in a second. Across. There we go. <sighs> Thinking about the form, the anatomy coming up the knees. Here. And then we're thinking about the light shape, the top of the kneecap, right? And sometimes what I like to do, I like to slightly don't overdo this, but slightly outline parts of this. And what that does, it kind of makes the form pop forward just a little bit more. Uh, it's also important to note the pranthal. As you can tell, I'm holding it a little bit closer up when I am doing more broad um, outlining and such. I'm holding it further away like this. The reason why I hold it up is you can get a little bit more control for that finer detail. So that's, that's the way that I go about that. Uh, this piece here is kind of coming down, and I'm going to have to uh, redo this light shape just a little bit. And again, this is this is all part of it. It's not that you're getting the drawing 100% right off the bat, but it's learning how to constantly fix and correct what you've done and, and keeping everything under control so the end result is going to be something incredibly freaking accurate, right? Incredibly accurate. Right, old man? You didn't answer me. All right, so from here, I am just hatching the kneecap out and it's a little bit bright. I'm trying to bring it to the value. I'm not trying to make it as light as I just did, but that's okay because I can still come across like this. So I'm thinking about these subtle shapes. Now, one quick note on these subtle shadow shapes in here. This stuff takes some time to get. The method of construction of learning how to see the figure in a very simplistic stage, learning to block it in, getting those large angles, is going to train your mind to eventually see the smaller angles. But that takes a lot of time and the right type of training. And that's why I always recommend drawing with straight lines because it forces you to see and record the angles, which, you know, think of it like this. If you can't get this angle from here to here, right? Then how are you going to how are you going to get this angle from here to here? It's going to be much harder. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, there's a little bump there, so they put that in, and it normally looks like a mutant, um, uh, you know, like wrist, right? It doesn't it doesn't quite work. It's either over exaggerated or what have you. If you want that subtlety, it's going to take a lot of time and practice. So my, I want to encourage you to stick with it and to train the right way, even though at first you might feel like you're going backwards. Trust me, it is worth it. It is worth taking the time to do things right. Let's, let's jump up here. Let's jump up here to the, um, the, 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 uh, the forearm. 
And I'm gonna demonstrate this. So I started doing this, as you can tell. So I'm not necessarily, have, necessarily having to go fast like this. Okay, like really fast to get those marks. You just do them nice and controlled. And let me clean this area up. So we have, I'm thinking about the whole shape as I do this, like the whole time. I'm thinking about the form, everything. All right, so from this point here, let's fix this because I'm about to start modeling. I'm gonna bring this piece out some, and that kind of comes in. And then there's this little piece that comes in like that, and that's the elbow. So this is gonna be kind of coming in. So let me very carefully take the inside part away. My contacts are indeed blurring, but even my blurring contacts cannot stop the genius that I am endowed with. There we go. So, got one. And then this kind of comes in like this, just a little bit. I'm just gonna make it very soft. And at the same time as we're sculpting, we're bringing the, um, the outside form into the inside right here. We have the elbow, and it's a very small piece. I'm just gonna put a light um, mark kind of following down here, one or two, just like that, just very slowly, okay? And what's gonna happen is, I'm going to put from here a little mark coming across like this, just a little. Just a little. And this is enough to turn the form there. And then I'm going to come across it with a broader form to darken to bring this down because this is not going to be as light as this. So it's a step process. So what am I doing? I'm not just, you know, expressing myself, doing, you know, I am looking at the form and trying to understand it, right? And I'm actually, if, if I was to magnify this, what I'm trying to do is put kind of a, a curve, slight curve on the mark like that, not make it straight. If you're constructing it, there's these lines that are kind of wrapping around uh, her bicep in this case. And so that's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to think three-dimensionally what exactly is going on. So I'm just going to, be, I'm squinting down still and I'm looking at what I'm drawing and it's kind of coming up like this, going around. And I'm trying to make them even and take your time doing this, all right? And you can do some, in fact, on the other side too, but there's not so many. You don't wanna make it, you don't wanna overdo this. Again, just go very lightly and then we're gonna go with the form up here as well. It's quite nice. And then from here, I feel like we need to bring it down kind of this way like that. And I'm gonna, do it a little bit lighter. And then what I'm gonna do here, let's, let's put actually one or two, let me clean this up. Let's put one or two marks on this other side just to imply, like our minds will pick it up even if our eye doesn't, can't like say it at first, right? Like we might not be able to articulate it, but it's going to turn because we're putting uh, these slight marks on it that darken just like the very, very edge, all right? And Dad just broke a very expensive piece of charcoal. Damn it. Don't eat it. Right, so it's kind of coming down. And then what we're going to do from here is I'm going to come kind of straight across like this. A little bit more ragged, okay? And I'm just going to bring the value down some. And I'm going to do the same thing here, right? And it's okay to kind of go across like this and to to intermingle the lines, right? That's okay. So we're bringing it down just a little bit, that value. And from here, we can kind of work on it as well. If we want, we can slightly darken this. Dad, be careful. All right, now I'm gonna slightly darken this piece. And then again, I'm going to remember where I went across it, which was kind of coming across like this, right? Did I go across it like that? Or did I go like this? something like that, right? And then we have the, the wrist area right here, which I'm bringing that in, and I'm just slightly marking that, and it's kind of coming down just a little bit into here, but we're looking at the whole picture as we do this. There's a little piece right here, and there we go. And so we're just slightly going over, very lightly rather, going over everything, right? My charcoal is decimated over there. It is totally decimated. And then I'm thinking about the form here. There's a little bit 
of a bump. It's kind of the opposite side of the elbow, though I think I got mine a little bit too high, so I'm gonna actually lower that some. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna use the eraser to clean up that side and to lower the bump down just ever so slightly. So, uh, so we're drawing, well, I could mess that up, but we're drawing both with the eraser and the planthal, right? Both at the same time. And everything's a stice, so this is dipping in too far, so I'm gonna bring this out just a little bit, and then it kind of goes one, two, like that, and I'm gonna slowly build that line. So this is, in effect, how I am building up um, you know, this, this part of the arm, and then we can, at the same time, go and try to get parts of the drawing back. It kind of breaks one here, and then it comes into here, and then you have the wrist area, so the wrist is gonna be one, two like that and then this is just coming straight up and we can then obviously at this point take the eraser this is a kneaded eraser these I do recommend for this type of work and we can really work that edge and even thin it out a little bit even more than I have it My friends and this is how we do it right there and so there we have uh, the arm that is has some form it's starting to be sculptural and we can come back to it, we can, we can darken it, we can correct it, and if we want, we can even go back and, and even erase a lot of that's what we did and, and start over if we feel like we have not uh, worked it correctly. So I went with the form there, and then I'm gonna come across like this here. And then let's, let's work in here. I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit because I've been articulating these things. I'm gonna try to speed this up for you because I know that um, these videos tend to be long, but I, at the same time, I, I do want them to be thorough and for you to get something out of them. Uh, because there, frankly, there is a lot uh, to think about with, with modeling, and so I know you need to see it done. But I, I can't give you just a quick tip, this is how you do it, and like everything's you know, you know, good and this and that. You need to actually see it and sit down with it and such. So right here, I am uh, thinking about the form uh, sculpting it, I am going along with the form and then I'll be going across it in some cases and this is one of those cases where I was just, I'm going to be lightly going across just like this. Lightly bringing these values down and now it's, it's, it's a good time to start thinking of in these broad areas, all right, these broad areas that um, we need to start working the values on a larger scale to get the overall light impression here. Look, I know the boobs are wrong. Get off my back. We're going to get them. I know I am violating my sacred code of always just modeling the breasts. That's the most important thing is to get the boobs right. But look, I am doing my best right now. I've been juggling all day and creating masterpieces. Here we go. So I bring the shadow down just a little bit here and I'm going to try to put some tooth to that shadow to mimic the, um, the, the, the pencil strokes that I've done, right? There we go. And from here, let's start darkening this. I'm squinting down here. Darken, this is gonna be soft. And then let's see, we can do the same we can do the same here, we'll do this here. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of come across at an angle for this. This is gonna be quite nice, right there. And then this one can be coming at an angle like that. And so we can kind of be going into it and I can bring this, this up like that because it kind of fades down. And then if I want to, I can just accentuate certain parts. So I like going in two different directions. And so this is one of those things that, that it does take um, some practice to do and, and to be honest with you um, so like I was going to darken everything much quicker you know I, I wanted to darken things and then show you the process but I was getting to the point where I, I wanted to be doing this cross hatching technique and so I think it's very beneficial for you to see it even though like everything isn't as dark as I would have liked it to be for this I think that would require probably a longer video, but let's darken this just a little bit so I can push the values and it, you know, it makes it look a, a little bit nicer for you. All right, so from here, uh, let's get this form that's coming up in here. It's a little bit ragged, so I'm going to be very sensitive about 
uh, the technique up here. So if this is the, the, um, the hand, which I have right here, uh, then you're gonna have a piece that's coming out about right here like that, okay? And then from here, uh, there's a little piece that if this is the belly button here, there's a piece that comes up like this right it comes up just a little bit and then it kind of drops back down like that and then we might have to clean this area up some and so what's happening is there's a, a value um, that is kind of bringing all this area down so we're going to put that in in a second so we're thinking about all these individual shapes and we're also thinking about the value right so we're thinking about the anatomy and the light effect. There's a little uh, speck. If this is the wrist right here, this piece comes out. There's a piece right here. If this this is here, yes, this there's this dark piece that kind of comes to here. So I'm going to spend my time to try to get push, push, put that in. And I made it a little bit dark, but I can always bring that value down some. All right, so that piece is about there. We have this here. And then what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to, this area is a little bit lighter but I'm going to fade it out some, fade it down, okay? And then to make it interesting, this is kind of like the hip right there and then um, her belly is going to be coming forward just a little bit, so I'm going in the opposite direction with the strokes here. And then here, I'm going to be going in this direction here to fade this part up to smooth this out just a little bit, just like that. You see how it's kind of coming together? And so I've brought, I brought the value down while thinking about the form, all right? And again, this takes a lot of practice and sometimes you do it good, sometimes you don't do it so good. But um, this is essentially how we do it. If you get these little marks here, we can always come in with the uh, eraser and, and just be very meticulous, take them out just a little bit. And there's nothing wrong with doing that and then we go back over it. Um, it's, it's constant juggling back and forth. So ends part one of three. I will continue where I left off in the next video. Until next time, Luz Gadetti, out.